Sometimes people in chat take me way too seriously <laughs> when I'm joking around. And when I'm super serious, they just don't say anything. It's a no-win situation for me. I can't do anything right. I can't please anyone. Come on, guys. He could have been. How else did he have four kids? I guess he was really horny. Albino horny lobster. Lilith is still alive. That's the biggest twist of Revelation. The fact that she's still alive is pretty amazing. Oh my god, I have to blow her. I still don't know where to blow! I don't see the mic anywhere on this 3DS. I have the same problem with the other game that I had to blow in. Oh, wait, it's working. It's working. Okay, I don't know where it is. I'm just blowing all, all over the 3DS. It's gross. Just shout real loud. <laughs> I think it works that way. Oh, love bracelet, cool. Let's grab that. Someday we should visit my parents' tomb. It'd be nice to pay our respects. Nicer still... to get their blessing. Love bracelet I won't use. I used it in Conquest. It was pretty. <laughs> I'm so happy to spend time with you, Papa. Damn, her ears are so pointy. I really didn't notice that Corrin had pointy ears until I saw Kana's. Male Kana, it's hard to tell because he has so much hair in Corrin. Yeah, I didn't notice they had Yo, 20 years. Got any sweets on you? Let's go Dusk for once. I've been doing Dawn almost the entire game. I think I've done Dusk like two times. Yep. Even when I was making them, yeah, I didn't I didn't notice. Next time, yeah, bring snacks. Hair. I mean, twenty, twenty years. No, I, ser I seriously didn't notice. You could change hair, right? <laughs> oh wow, he does have twenty years. You can actually tell like this. Holy crap! I didn't notice. Oh my god. Even with this hair, I didn't notice. Because I used that last time. Default hair, you can't tell. Wow, you actually can't see it. If if you if you choose some of the other hair. What the hell? I, I really didn't notice. Okay, let's uh get that love bracelet. I gotta make a shop, right? Accessory shop? Pink beret tinted glasses. Yes. Ears, yes, yes, ears. If I'm saying hair, I mean ears. Welcome. 
Oh my god, bath towel. Who's gonna wear the bath towel? Who's the most awkward character to give a bath towel? Xander? It seems so unlike Xander, because he's so proper all the time. Forest? Oh my god. That looks so ridiculous. Holy crap, he's buff! What the hell? I guess this is what people like. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! This is so stupid. Holy shit, this is so stupid! Are we actually doing this? Oh my god, I'm dying! I can't do this, this is too much. Okay, it doesn't actually look... It's not as revealing on female characters, of course. Holy crap. Uh... Yeah, definitely not 18. Sorry. It's different on... I see. So Norians wear uh, something that's a lot different than Oshidans. Wait! <laughs> Is the female pose? What's the male pose then? Oh, whoops. Okay, let's see the male pose. He actually has the female pose? So all males have that pose. And then... <laughs> oh my god, Forrest. I see. I see. Okay, well... <laughs> um, right. I'm dying here. I'm seriously dying. Damn, Philly looks really nice. The outfit, I think the Sorcerer outfit just looks really nice. Not because it's like super revealing, but... It, I like the cape. Yeah, we'll go with that. The cape and... I guess the color is nice. Yeah, the Norian bathrobe looks like lingerie. Holy crap, why is everyone so buff? I mean, wait a second, does Percy lose buffness if he wears this? I swear he's buffer with... like this. But he seems to lose buffness. I'm not trying to be perverted, come on. Even though looking at characters like this is pretty perverted. Okay, are we really gonna do this? Holy crap, this is too ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, wait, what? Oh, it's different! Oh, it's different, okay. Okay, <laughs> I gotta stop that. I gotta stop that no more. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, we're doing this. She's just never gonna look at him again. Okay, there's more stuff to buy. I guess Pink Beret. I'll buy that. Yeah, I did ask for an awkward character. Did not expect that, though. This is too much. It's killing me. Oh my god, you guys. I'm dying. Oh wait, why is this discounted? Who is it? Uh, Baruka? What? Baruka discounts... Uh... Hand stuff? 
I want to buy the armored shell. This thing looks so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade the accessory shop actually. Thank you. So does forest actually look like that now? Oh, he doesn't. What the hell? So what's the point of giving him the bathrobe? Only in my castle battles. Oh. Does it increase his chance of being in the bathhouse? Is that what it is? Oh, I want this. I like this one. It looks so funny. It's too expensive though. Plus, yeah, it's gonna take too long. Damn, these are like long-term investments. You'd have to play the game a lot to get these. Hey, that's Percy's. Royal Feather. This is Arete's hat, the LeBlanc hat. Oh my god. That's something. Lobster! You can be a... The lion motif. Represents a samurai prince. Lion. Lion, okay, sure. That's a funny way to spell lobster. Oh, that thing is huge. So you can actually wear like full body armor, right? Or very close to it. You guys really want the bathhouse? Alright, let's see. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> it's my last Dragon Vein point. My last one, and we're building this garbage. What the hell's that? Oh, it's Percy. I see the mask. I don't know if bringing a dragon in here is a good idea. Plus, where is your dragon anyway? You're not a wyvern rider anymore. <laughs> I said leave! Oh god, is that Jacob? Much obliged. Cabbages. That way I can buy more berets. He's more OP, Karagi, or. Karagi's more OP, but he has less HP. That's the only problem. Wow, his HP sucks. Oh, he had one strength, or two strength. 
Is Corrin's father a dragon? Maybe? I don't know. Isn't Garen part dragon? Like, he can transform into a dragon. I still don't understand that. Like, what are the conditions for transforming into a dragon? Or having the, the ability to do that? Because everybody can access dragon veins, which means they have dragon blood in them, or whatever it is. So maybe there are some conditions to transform. I've got you. I'm here too. Probably gets double grip. Here goes. Who's the man? That was a 22 strength ninja. First round. No mercy. I'll help you. Oh god, I actually died. What the hell? Kiragi, please! In secret, Garen was Corrin's father. The real plot twist. Yeah, he just took his real kid back. That was his main goal. That was his real goal. Okay, rent heaven first. Or Astra, please. Or crit. Have a nice day! Have a nice day! Good shot, huh? That's more like it. This is the real Karagi. Come on. Oh god, that sword is strong. Here goes. I won't stand idle. Oh, this has been painful. If I miss, I die. Don't miss. Have a nice day. Good shot, huh? Let's buy more berets. Gotta give more people berets. Welcome. Who are the most serious characters in the game? They all need berets. Let's buy three of them. Xander had a beret, I think, right? In Conquest? Okay, so Xander gets one. Who else is really serious? What if you put a beret on Forest? Oh, there's no difference. Real one with beret? You lose the lobster hat, I think. Leo. You can look like his son. Oh my god. It doesn't look as ridiculous. He already has that hairband. Hairband is, is pretty girly too. It's like it's like Martha's hairband, I think. Apparently royalty wear hairbands. Why don't I just give race to the entire Norian royal family? How's that? At least actually looks nice with it. It matches her outfit. Oh she's so tiny, I swear. It's like the tiniest character in the game. Oh my god. What did we just do? He doesn't look very happy wearing the beret. Plus he's not even wearing it right. And apparently his hair is so spiky it actually rips through the beret. He's probably thinking, what the hell are you doing?
I don't actually like it on Leo. Try someone else. It looks good on Corrin. As in, it looks terrible, but terrible means good. Does Percy lose the mask? Oh. I guess he never show your true identity as a superhero. It actually looks really girly. It actually makes him look like a girl because his long hair. Odin Dark with a beret. He looks wow, he looks so smug. Looks nice on me, huh? Holy crap, why is he so smug? This beret has a lot of darkness. He likes it. Wait, the bathrobe isn't equipped? I see. Okay, well I guess it's a good thing, because he looks ridiculous with it. Alright, let's just go with... I like it on Odin, because it looks so stupid. Thank you for coming. Wait, is there anything else that looks stupid as hell? Welcome. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm spending so much time in here. Because the characters, they actually wear these stupid items in cutscenes. So, cutscene characters. Leo's a cutscene character. I'm giving him something stupid. Oh god. I don't have rice though. I can make him a faceless. You can't see anything though. Cat ears? Are there cat ears? Wow. You can make him a maid. It's a lot of onyx though. What is a training garb anyway? Who wears this? This is Elisa's, right? Yeah, it's Elisa's, okay. Ninja mask. That looks pretty ridiculous. Azuma wears it? Oh, I didn't know that. Never paid attention to him. I can't really afford anything, huh? It's so expensive. I could buy a foxtail. What is a medicine trunk? Oh, this is Meteries, right? The armor shell is nice, but I can't afford it. It's a lot of rubies. Let's get a foxtail for someone. <laughs> I just want to put everything on Xander, because he's like the last character you'd want this stuff on. He's a fox now, with a pink beret. We'll make her a fox. What's that? Because the jurors in a lot of cutscenes. Might as well have that. Some stuff that's really ridiculous on here. <laughs> the medicine truck might be better, actually. Let's try that. Bigger the item, the more ridiculous it looks. It's like a turtle shell. Alright, let's do that then. So who's gonna be a fox?
Holy crap, his hair is huge. I really see it like this. Okay, let's go with that. That's good enough. Alright, finally we're done with this. No more. Thanks. No more playing around. Oh, cool! We can get Sophie. Nice. Alright, let's do the supports. She's so nice. Oh god. Uh, I know there's incest in this game, but let's not do this, okay? Kata's like the total opposite of Kiragi. I guess they're both pretty happy, but Kata's like a good happy. Kiragi's a scary happy. I should play The Sims? Uh, no. It's such a waste of time. Yeah, it's scary happy. Back, fiend! That's creepy. Wow. There's nowhere to hide, but he knows where to hide. That's creepy. I'm scared. What the hell? There's a foot of space between the ceiling and the bookshelves. Holy crap, he's like an expert stalker. I'm scared. Oh my god, he's so scary. Yeah, he is a hunter. He's an expert hunter. Better than Takumi, apparently. But that's what makes him even scarier. The fact that he can hide and seek extremely well. You wouldn't know where he is. He might try and let you have a nice day by putting an arrow through your head. It's like the scariest kid so far. All the other kids are okay. Some of them are kind of weird, but none of them are like freaky like him. 
Alright. Silas and Hinoka. Silas, why did you ask to meet me all the way up here in the mountains? Princess Hinoka, I'm glad you came. Did you want to discuss strategy for the upcoming campaign? As in, like, you know, pair up with you and then let you carry me? Or other way around. Pair up with me and I'll carry you. Yeah. Or do you still have a bone to pick over our last conversation? Neither, really. I wanted to get your opinion on some plans I've been making. Oh? Yes, I had a notion of establishing a new home here. You'd build a home- uh, you'd build a house here. Way up on top of a mountain. Why? It might not be obvious, but we're standing on the border between Hoshido and Nor. It's very safe, mind you. There's nothing here but the native wildlife. Hmm. It's got a, it's got quite a good view too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pardon me as I summon up a bit of courage to say the next thing. When the house is built, Princess Hinoka, I hope that you'll live here with me. Here? Me? What? As husband and wife. Did I hear that right? Yes, I want to marry you. Wow, that's actually a pretty sweet proposal. Typical Silas, the good guy. But that's impossible. Why? Isn't it obvious? I'm the High Princess of Oshido. And from what I understand, you come from a noble Norian family. A relationship between us needs more than simple mountainside agreement. A simple mountainside agreement to work. Which is why I want to build a house here. It's not exactly in Hoshido or in Nor. We live right, in, right on the line in both senses. I, as a Norian noble, married to the High Princess of Hoshido. You, the High Princess of Hoshido, wed to a Norian nobleman. It could never hold. We'd be forced to commit one way or another. I don't think so. There's some precedent. Just look at Korin, who embodies both Hoshido and Nor. You know me well by now, and because of that, you've trusted me this far. When you put me to the test, you did so because you thought we'd, uh, we were well-matched. Isn't that right? Yes, but I meant well-matched in the battlefield, not in life. Is she gonna reject him? She doesn't seem to enjoy this very much. Oh. I fear I've made some... I've made a serious mistake. And don't be so sure. Oh, God. Happy ending, here we come. Would have been better if he got rejected. We know now that we make a good team in combat. And I think now that you mention it, I'd like to see if we'd make a good team in life. Then, yes, consider your proposal accepted. Well, if that's settled, would you care to stay here with me a little longer? It's a long way down the mountain after all. Let's relax here a while and talk about our future on the side of our new home. It sounds like a pleasant evening. I'm open to hearing your ideas. Good. Because I've got a lot of them. So first I was thinking... It's a very sweet proposal. Like, honestly. Very symbolic. The... the... what is it? The union between the two. On the border of the two countries. Only Silas would think of something like that. It's safe barring the wild animals prowling around. It's okay, we have Karagi. We'll just bring them sometimes. He can... He can save us from the wild animals. And then Benny will be sad because Karagi kills bears. And Benny is friends with bears. Oh my god! Everything just connects to each other now because we know so much about the characters. Yeah, the other Hinoka couple we don't talk about anymore. We're never gonna do that again. And I think if anyone is considering putting Saizo with Hinoka, I urge you to reconsider if you like good dialogue. But if you want to see some terrible dialogue, like Conquest, terrible. Even worse than Conquest. Terrible story, I should say. Go for that one if you want. Let's see the new sword. Yeah, it's, a, it's the S-rank sword, but nobody can use it. Odin is not even close. Damn. Yeah. 
No one could use it except for him. But he doesn't need the sword because he has his Oki sword. Did I only do one mission today? Seriously? Damn, it's been almost four hours. I spent a lot of time just talking and stuff, I guess. I want to get this one done. So I'll do this one, and if I have time, I don't think I'll have time. Uh, I'll do this one. I'll probably do this tomorrow and then finish the game tomorrow. It's Friday, right? 